ammonites are distinctive and recognizable fossils that have been unearthed globally for thousands of years. They have inspired a variety of folkloric and mythological interpretations, such as snake stones, buffalo stones, shaligrams, and the horns of ammon, the latter eventually leading to the scientific name for this group of ancient mollusks. Ammonites were first identified as cephalopod shells in the 18th century, but their soft body anatomy remained a mystery due to the lack of impressions. The first known attempt at reconstructing an ammonite appeared in the 1830 painting Duria Antiquir, but it is hard to recognize by modern standards, shown as a small boat-like figure alongside ichthyosaurs and plesiosaurs. At that time, the Argonaut octopus, or paper nautilus, was considered the closest living relative of ammonites due to the superficial similarity in shell shape. However, the Argonaut was itself poorly understood and often inaccurately depicted using two of its tentacles as sails to float on the ocean's surface, an idea applied to early ammonite reconstructions as well. In the mid-1830 years, the chambered Nautilus was suggested as a better comparison for ammonites, but the Argonaut-based reconstructions persisted for several more decades. The first non-Argonaut ammonite reconstruction, featured in the 1863 edition of La Terra Avant Le Deluge, portrayed the creature as a squid-like animal with eight arms and two tentacles. However, later editions corrected this to a more Nautilus-like depiction, complete with numerous tentacles and a large protective hood. By the late 19th century, the Nautilus became the dominant model for ammonites, though they were still thought to float on the ocean surface. Early 20th century interpretations even suggested that some ammonites were bottom dwellers, creeping along the ocean floor with nautilus-like anatomy and octopus-like tentacles, before the idea of them being active swimmers in open water became more accepted. Throughout the 20th century, scientific views shifted, with the colloids increasingly regarded as the closest living relatives of ammonites rather than the nautilus. By the 90s, it was generally accepted that both ammonites and colloids shared a common ancestor, and that ammonites likely had ten arms, making them more squid-like. While little was known about the soft tissue of ammonites, some internal anatomy had been pieced together by the early 21st century. Fossils known as aptiki were found inside ammonite shells, originally thought to be opercula protecting the shell, but now believed to be part of the jaw structure along with aradula. There were also traces of ink sacs and possibly digestive organs, but the external appearance of ammonites remained largely unknown. By the mid-2010 years, muscle attachment points in the fossil record hinted at the presence of a large, squid-like siphon. In some cases, banded color patterns were discovered on preserved ammonite shells, while iridescent surfaces suggested these patterns may have been visible in life. By the late 2010 years, it was speculated that the lack of soft tissue evidence for ammonites was similar to the preservation challenges faced by squid fossils, their biochemical makeup may not have been suitable for fossilization under most conditions. Then, a breakthrough occurred in 2021. A nearly complete, naked ammonite was discovered, missing its shell but preserving most of its soft body. Unfortunately, the arms were absent, leaving their exact number and arrangement unresolved. Later that year, another study identified hook-like structures in some ammonite fossils as the club tips of two long, squid-like tentacles, the first direct evidence of ammonite appendages. A third study at the end of 2021 further confirmed that ammonites were more colioid-like than previously thought, with evidence of a squid-style siphon and powerful muscles capable of retracting the body deep into the shell for protection. Since ammonites existed for over 340 million years, inhabiting a wide range of environments and evolving into many different forms, their soft anatomy likely varied just as much as their shell shapes. As a result, no single reconstruction can accurately represent every ammonite species. Nevertheless, we now have a more informed understanding of their appearance, and with new discoveries, there's great potential to learn much more about these iconic fossils.